Pro Virgo, Sun Rising, and Venus, and welcome to your reading. So Virgo, today we're going to go over your overall energy as well as your person's overall energy. We're going to see how the both of you are currently viewing this relationship and how you guys feel about it and what actions you guys plan on taking each other's direction and are moving forward. So with all that being said, Virgo, let's get started. Let's see how you're currently viewing this relationship. How does Virgo currently view this relationship? All right, let's see what's going on, Virgo. So we do... We have the Queen of Cups. We also have the Queen of Wands, as well as the Death card. At the bottom of the deck, we do have the Hermit. We also have the King of Swords, as well as the Ten of Swords. Right off the bat, Virgo, the fact that you're showing up as a Queen of Cups and a Queen of Wands with the Death card right next to your overall energy is just basically insinuating, Virgo, that... You're drastically changing, um, and I do feel like it has a lot to do with an ending uh, that you experienced here with this King of Swords in particular. Now, this King of Swords doesn't have to, technically speaking, be a dude. This could very well be referring to possibly a female. We all have masculine and feminine energy within us, so don't get caught up in the gender, but I do believe that in the past you experienced an ending here with this King of Swords. Uh, for some of you, that this ending could have had you feeling extremely hurt and betrayed uh, by this particular person and I feel like your overall experience with this person has definitely drastically changed you it's like you go from being the good guy to not wanting to be the good guy anymore and it could be because you know a lot of you feel like you know being the good guy you know it's just not worth it because you know look at what happened to you trying to do things the right way trying to be the good guy you know what I mean or girl you know what I mean uh within this dynamic that you basically share uh with this person so we do see you drastically changing um because of this betrayal that you experienced because of this ending that you experienced uh because of your overall experience with this person in particular okay now with all of that being said Virgo I do want to look at this person and see how they're currently viewing this relationship with you I also feel like your overall experience with this person especially in regards to the way it ended right between you and this person it has definitely caused a lot of you out there to not really want anything to do with love I am definitely getting that as well how does this person currently view this relationship with Virgo Okay. Oh, okay. Let me hold on. Let me grab the card that fell. One second. Okay, so we do have the Six of Pentacles that actually fell to the ground, and I'm going to go ahead and take it. But for their overall energy in regards to how they're currently viewing uh, this relationship with you, uh, we do have the Six of Swords. We also have the Judgment card, as well as the Two of Pentacles and the Fool to the uh, Six of Pentacles. This person is currently in an overall energy of contemplation. It's like they're contemplating if they should um, try to fix and repair things here with you, or if they should just move forward and move on with their life and just accept the fact that you know what it's over and they basically messed up you know the six of pentacles is basically the minor to the justice card in tarot which is all about balancing things out and making things right so there is a you know a huge part of this person that does want to gravitate towards you and make things right with you but at the same exact time they are kind of taking into account you know this ending that transpired between the two of you and the way things came to an end here between the two of you which is causing them to feel like maybe just maybe you're probably not going to give them a second chance maybe just maybe you may not even want anything to do with them so we do kind of see them contemplating should they gravitate towards you or should they not gravitate towards you um and make things right here with you is basically what i'm getting so far now i do want to see how this person is currently feeling about this relationship how does this person currently feel about this relationship with virgo all right so we do have the tower out here we also have the ace of wands and then we also have the seven of cups at the bottom of the deck we do have the king of cups true pair situation by the way between you and this person your person is showing up as a king of cups regardless of their gender and you're showing up as a queen of cups regardless of your gender so you guys are definitely soulmates here um, but in regards to how this person is currently feeling about this relationship there's definitely something that this person wants to do and we're going to look a little bit more into what it is that this person actually wants to do in regards to you and what's currently going on between the two of you so i'm going to be clarifying the ace of wands but with the seven of cups so the tower coming out here whatever it is that they do want to do right virgo um 
there's an energy of them not necessarily knowing how to honestly approach this entire situation. So this Ace of Wands could basically represent them wanting to reach out to you, but they don't really know what to honestly say to you. Um, this could definitely represent them wanting to work things out with you, but they don't necessarily know how to go about this entire situation here uh, between the two of you. So let's clarify the Ace of Wands just to kind of see what it is that this person wants to do. Um, because whatever it is that they want to do, there's this energy of, well, I, I just don't know what to say, or I just don't know what I could do on my end to make this right. It has that type of feel to it. Tell me more about the Ace of Wands. Doom, 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 doom. Okay. We have the Ace of Cups. We got the Three of Cups. We also have the Sun as well as the Four of Wands out here. You know, there is an overall energy of them wanting to reconcile with you. There is an overall energy of them wanting to start over with you. But there's also an overall energy um, of them just wanting, you know, things to go back to the way it used to be when things were essentially good uh, between the two of you. That's what this person wants. That's what this person truly does desire. They just don't know how to pull all of this off um, is basically what I'm getting. Okay, now I want to jump back over to you just to kind of see how you're feeling and where your head is at. Uh, so let's look at you, Virgo. How does Virgo currently feel about this relationship? How does Virgo currently feel about this relationship? Okay, remember your person showed up as a king um, of swords. So another two pair situation yet again between the two of you. You're actually coming across as a queen of swords. And then we have another two pair uh, situation going on here between you and this person. So you guys are very, very compatible to one another. There's a huge possibility that you could have spent many years with this person because I am definitely getting that for some of you out there. But we do have the Empress out here. And for those of you who do not know this, the person that's actually in the chariot is the Emperor making it another true pair situation here between you and this person. Now at the bottom of the deck, we do have the Three of Wands. Wow. With the Page of Wands. I can't even make this up. With the Ace. Not the Ace of Wands. With the King of Wands. And then we also have the Justice card. You actually showed up as a Queen of Wands. Now your person is showing up as a uh, King of Wands. So, yeah. I would say that you guys are very, very compatible. You guys are definitely soulmates. Um, you know, it's definitely something that I'm getting strongly. But in regards to how you're currently feeling, there's this overwhelming feeling of you essentially feeling, Virgo, like it's only a matter of time before they gravitate towards you. It's only a matter of time before you receive communication here from them. With the Page of Wands to the Three of Wands, Page of Wands rep represents somebody who's on the receiving end of some sort of news slash communication. I do feel like currently at the moment you have yet to receive communication here from this person, but you're sitting in this energy of, I know that eventually I will receive communication from this person in particular. Now, with the King of Wands to the Justice card, a big part of you feels um, like this person's going to contact you and try to make things right here with you. Um, and with all of that being said, I just kind of see you for the most part sitting around waiting uh, to receive communication here from this person because you know it's coming. You definitely know it's coming. Okay. Let's see what actions... Oh, the King of Swords came out. Let's see what actions you plan on... Okay, let's see what actions you plan on taking in this person's direction and are moving forward. The King of Swords really wanted to come out. Could be dealing with an Aquarius. Doesn't necessarily have to be the case, though. What actions will this person take? I mean, what actions will Virgo take towards this person and are moving forward? Okay. So we do have the King of Swords with the Knight of Cups, and then we also have the Ten of Wands. As far as you taking action in this person's direction is concerned, I don't see that happening. Is like, is this energy of you wanting to contact them within your energy? Absolutely. Um, but I don't necessarily feel like you actually will gravitate towards them uh, whatsoever. With the Knight of Cups to the Ten of Wands, I feel like there's a lot that you want to get off your chest to this person. So I do feel like when this ending occurred between the two of you, you know, there was a lot of things unsaid, I would say, on your part. So with that Ten of Wands energy coming out here, I do feel like there's a lot that you want to get off your chest to this person. I do feel like there's a lot that you want to communicate to this person that you have yet to communicate um, to them. For some of you, this could have a lot to do with you just having a lot of questions. Why did you do this to me? Uh, why did you betray me in this way? And why did you do this? And why did you do that? That could definitely represent um, 
strongly what could very well be going on within your energy field with that ten of wands attached to your energy uh but as much as i see you wanting to reach out to them and just get whatever it is that you need to get off your chest to them um i don't necessarily see you actually doing that i actually kind of see you mainly taking the route of you know what i'm just gonna move past it um you know, time will heal absolutely everything. I just need to be patient with myself. I just need to be patient with the process. So we do kind of see you falling into that energy as far as like just accepting the fact that, you know what, what's done is done. A conversation may not make you feel better because I am definitely getting that for some of you out there that, you know, you could very well talk to this person about whatever, you know, whatever it is that you want to talk to them about. And I do feel like it has a lot to do with this ending and the way that it made you feel and whatever it is that they did. But a lot of you feel like the conversation is not going to change anything, right? Um, so that could be another reason why you're choosing to not even have a conversation with this person because I am definitely getting that for some of you out there. But nonetheless, I do see you falling into this energy of, you know what, I'll get over it. I'll move past it. It's only a matter of time. Now, Virgo, one thing that I will say is because you're choosing to kind of go down this route and not have a conversation with this person, just allow time to basically heal everything. With that Knight of Wands energy coming out here, that's kind of telling me that you're trying to rush this healing process. You're trying to hurry up and get over the pain, get over the betrayal, and just get over what it is that this person uh, put you through. I, I do kind of see you in a little bit of a rush is basically what I'm getting. Um, so I do feel like, you know, you are being advised by spirit to not try to rush this healing journey that you currently find yourself on. Try your hardest to be very patient with yourself and very patient with the process and not try to rush yourself into getting over this person and this betrayal and, you know, what they did. Spirit just wants you to just kind of Take it slow and just take it day by day and not try to rush this healing journey that you can only find yourself on. Now, let's see what actions they plan on taking in their direction. What actions will this person take towards Virgo or moving forward? Okay, so we have the King of Wands. We have the Knight of Swords with the Two of Wands. At the bottom of the deck, we do have the Hermit and then we also have the World. So this person has definitely been thinking long and hard about gravitating towards you. They've also been thinking long and hard about what it is that they're actually going to say to you. Um, because we were we were already kind of getting that from this person. As much as they want to come in and fix and repair things here with you, they just don't know how. That's what it all boils down to, Virgo. They don't know how to fix this. They don't know how to repair this. And to be honest, it kind of looks like they don't even know what to honestly say to you, even after everything that occurred here uh, between the two of you. So they've definitely been thinking long and hard about what they're going to say and how they're going to approach this entire situation. Because at the end of the day, they do want to fix and repair things here with you. They do want to make things right here with you. So they will eventually extend themselves to you because I do definitely see that happening. Um, and that Knight of Swords energy to the two of wands to the king of wands is just acting as a double confirmation that they will reach out to you they will eventually break their silence um and when they do just know that it is coming from a place of them wanting to fix and repair things here with you so the choice is entirely up to you virgo on whether or not you choose to fix and repair things here with this person or not um either which way the choice is entirely up to you but the fact that i see well hold on now that i look at it we got the King of Swords, not the King of Swords. We have the uh, King of Wands to the Knight of Swords to the Two of Wands. And then we got this energy out here. So there's a huge possibility that when this person does reach out to you, okay, they may not get a response from you. And that could be for a variety of different reasons. Maybe you changed your number. Uh, maybe you blocked this person. But I, I do see them reaching out to you. But you know what's interesting is that it's not, now that I look at it, it's not reflecting in your energy. And it should be, it should be reflecting in your energy because they are reaching out to you. Yeah, they are definitely reaching out to you um, in the near future. I definitely see that happening. And I'm actually getting two different attempts coming from this person. Hmm. Yeah, I'm getting two different, well, actually, no, I'm getting three different attempts coming from this person as far as I'm gravitating towards you as concern, but... It's not reflecting in your energy. Sometimes that does happen. Um, and typically the only reason why that actually happens is because you either changed your number or you blocked this person on absolutely everything and they can't uh, get into contact um, with you because it should be reflecting in your energy. 
Yeah, it should be reflecting in your energy. One, two, three, four. Okay. And then we got five over here. I do feel like eventually you guys will have a conversation with one another, but I... Yeah, I do feel like you guys will eventually have a conversation here with one another, but I'm, I'm definitely getting them... I definitely am getting them making at least five attempts in your direction is basically what I'm, I'm getting, Virgo, which is more than likely insinuating that you probably blocked this person, Virgo. Uh, you probably blocked them. You probably changed your number. You, you clearly did something on your end um, to the point where they don't even have access towards uh, to you. I'm sorry. They don't have any uh, type of access to you. Uh, for whatever reason, they just don't. And like I said, it should be reflecting on your behalf, but it's not reflecting on your behalf. What else can you tell me for Virgo in the near future? All right, let's see what we got, Virgo. Okay. We got the Three of Pentacles. We have the uh, Hermit. We got the Ten of Cups. And then we also have the uh, King of Cups. Yeah, Virgo... It's not, it, like I said, it should be reflecting on your uh, side, but it's not reflecting on your side that this person um, is trying to fix and repair things here with you. So you more than likely block them or something. But um, Virgo, let's focus on your energy though. Uh, we have the Nine of Pentacles to the Eight of Pentacles. We got the Ten of Swords and it came out twice for you with the Nine of Swords out here. So you're very hurt by this person, whatever it is that they did. Um, I don't see you in the mood. Um, as far as like wanting to talk to them as concern, um, which is totally understandable. I do see you bearing yourself into work, though. I, I definitely do see that happening. You're definitely bearing yourself into work. Um, you're definitely keeping yourself extremely busy slash occupied. So that way you're not sitting around thinking about this person's ending that transpired uh, between the two of you. But the fact that you have the Nine of Swords to the Ten of Swords, that creates the Ace of Swords, which basically represents the Sword of Truth. It also represents communication. I just feel like there's a lot that you you want to communicate to this person. There's just a lot that you want to get off your chest to this person. I also feel like you have a lot of questions. Yo, why? Why did you do this to me? Why did you do that to me? I just kind of feel like you're trying to figure out all by yourself. Why? Why did they do this to you? Why did they hurt you in this way? It's like you're trying to like figure it out you know what I mean all by yourself and you're definitely like analyzing the hell out of this ending and what they did and why did they do this and how could this have happened and it has that type of feel um to it where you are kind of over analyzing the ending of it all and the betrayal of it all and what they basically did um and, and you just don't understand like but why why do they do this to me I was nothing but good to them why would they do something like this to me I don't understand I don't get it um it's basically what I'm getting, Virgo. Um, I also feel like you're going to reach this point, which we already kind of discussed, Virgo, where you're going to find yourself just wanting to just forget about this person, this ending that happened between the two of you, and just move on with your life. You know what I mean? Be happy all over again. So we do kind of see you in a little bit of a rush. Like, let me hurry up and get over this. Let me hurry up and stop thinking about this person already. And, you know, feeling all down and depressed about this entire situation. It's like you're rushing yourself to, like, bounce back as quickly as you possibly can. Um, because you don't want to remain in this rut. You don't want to remain, you know, feeling all sad and depressed and down over this person and what they did. Um, so we do kind of see you in a little bit of a rush, but that's why spirit was basically advising you to not rush things because it kind of looks like the more you try to rush, you know, this healing process, the more this healing process starts to essentially feel like it's lasting forever in a freaking day. Um, it's basically what I'm getting. This is kind of why you're being advised to just Take it slow. Don't try to rush it because if you try to rush it, you're going to start to find yourself feeling like, damn, like this, this healing journey is taking forever. You know what I mean? And you're going to start to become, you know, very impatient. You're going to start to become very annoyed, especially with yourself is basically what I'm getting because you, you're still thinking about it. You're still dwelling on it. You're still depressed. You're still pissed off. You're still hurt to the point where I actually kind of see you becoming really angry and upset and annoyed with yourself. Um, is primarily what I'm getting, all right? But yeah, that's what I have for you, Virgo. Hopefully the reading helped. Hopefully it resonated. And I will see you guys in your next reading. Bye.